Praise God and welcome to today's service. We hope that you have been well uh, throughout the past week that we ministered again. I pray that our uh, Lord has been protecting you, the Lord has kept you, and that the Lord has been your God. Even as we continue with this uh, service today, it is our prayer that you're going to worship with us, that you're going to sing along to the songs, that you're going to pray with us as well, that Jehovah Lord will actually move wherever you are, in your sitting room, as you're doing your chores, that God will actually move, that God will visit you in such a special and mighty way, even as we call him Jehovah Jireh, even as we call him Jehovah, because that is his name, I pray that the Lord will visit you. I pray that even in this season that you're in, whatever season that you're in, you may be happy, you may be sad, still, be still and know that he is God. Be still and know that he is Jehovah. Be still and know that he never changes. Yo 
even as we continue praising your name, you will constantly remind us, oh God, of how great you are and how marvelous your works are, oh God, in our midst, oh Lord, and in the lives of the people who are watching us, oh God. Today we choose to call you Jehovah, oh Lord, because that is who you truly are.
how we try to compare you with something as Lord, how fun a mystery. Hey.
for the properties that we have been able to acquire, for the assets that we've been able to acquire, my God, for the businesses we have been able to put up, oh God, for the relationships you have been able to acquire. My God, if it were not for you, we will not, we will not, we will have not been able to do that, oh God. Therefore, we give you all the glory and all the honor. We raise you high above everything, oh God. We raise your banner, oh God. And we declare that there is no God like you. There is no provider like you, oh God. There is no creator like you, Jehovah God. For we have tried, oh God. We have even tried to run away from you. We have even tried to worship other things, oh God. We have been able to put other things in front of you, Jehovah God. But Lord, we come to the realization that we cannot compare you to do anything, oh God. Father, receive all the glory, receive all the honor. Oh God, may you illuminate our hearts, our hearts which are desperately wicked, our hearts which are full of darkness, my God, that always try to revolt against you, Jehovah God. May you be the light in our hearts. May you be the God of our hearts. May you be the Lord of our hearts, oh God. May you take preeminence of our lives, Jehovah God. May you take preeminence of our ministries, oh God. For the many times you have done ministry, and Lord, you have thought it's about us. My God, may you forgive us, oh God. For the times you have given a helping hand, and we thought it's about us, oh God. Lord, you have been teaching us that we need to be a community. You have been teaching us that we need to be, we are better together, oh God. You have been taking us through the, the spiritual emphasis campaign, emphasizing that we need to be more of a community. Jehovah God, everything that we have been taught, everything that your spirit has taught us, Jehovah God, maybe we be able to apply talking of glory. May we be able to have practical faith, oh Jehovah God. The kind of faith that helps a neighbor, Jehovah God. The kind of faith that shelters someone, oh God. The kind of practicality, Jehovah God, that feeds someone else, oh Jehovah God. Holy Spirit of God, may you work in us to will and to do that which pleases the Father. May you work in us to will and to do that which pleases you. Oh, Jehovah God, may you be exalted. May you go ahead of us, oh, Jehovah God. May you help us to digest the 40 days of community that we are better together, Jehovah God. May you help us to also teach other people, oh, God. May you help us to be that kind of a person you want us to be. temple. 
of the Holy Spirit, please cleanse us, O God. Holy Spirit of God, we invite you to dwell amongst us and in us so that we may please the Father and so that we may hear him and we may do his will. Charge and 
Father God, we have been called your children and you declare to us the things that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind of man can fathom. Lord, we need that voice. We need that voice in the church. Father, we need that voice in our nation. We need that voice of the Holy Spirit to come and govern this nation, to come and govern our lives. Without this voice, we are lost. For the Lord, you say that your children know my voice. They hear it and they follow it. Lord, we need that voice. Speak to us, Lord. Speak to us, oh God. Speak to us. We need to hear you. We need to hear you, Lord. And where we have not acted in obedience, Lord, please forgive us. Please forgive us. We have fallen short of your glory, Lord. We have thought that we know it all. We have thought that we have we have this figured out. We have seen this. We know it. We have gone through it. But Father Lord, we don't know. It is your Holy Spirit who guides us into all truth. So guide us into all truth. The enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But God, you came to give us life and give us life in abundance. So good shepherd, lead us. Lead us, lead us in your ways. Lead us in your everlasting ways. Lord, lead us. Position us, oh Lord, into places of authority. Position us into places of authority where we will speak your voice, oh God. Where we will govern your people. Where we will lead your people, oh God. Equip us, oh God. Through your word, equip us so that we are ready for the work that you have prepared before us. Father Lord, we don't know. We don't know. Sometimes we don't know what, we, what is ahead of us, but you know. Lord, you know, so equip us. Equip us through the power of the Holy Spirit. Speak to us, Lord. We want to hear you. God, I want to pray for those people who are watching us. It is not just us who are sitting here, oh God, that are called, but you have called everyone. And Father Lord, I pray for that person who, don't, who doesn't know what exactly they ought to do in the body of Christ. I pray that, Lord, you're guiding them into their gifts. You're guiding them. Lord, you're giving them boldness through the power of the Holy Spirit that they will walk in boldness. They will step into those offices, oh God. They will step into those rooms, oh God. They will step into those nations and declare your word, oh God. That, Lord, just like the 12, just like the disciples, oh God, when they were in the upper room praying, Lord, you're filling us with the Holy Ghost. You're causing us to have tongues of fire, Lord. And you're causing us, oh God, to speak forth your word in authority. Lord, you're causing us, oh God, to walk not in timidity, but in power, in love, and in sound mind. Oh, Jesus, thank you for building us, oh Lord. Thank you for Jesus Christ, who's our cornerstone, the rock that can never be shaken. Lord, may this be our reality. I pray that we'll not just leave this moment right now, but we will leave this moment every single day of our lives. That with every waking day we will know that we have been called. We have a purpose, but we are not alone. Though it may look like we are surrounded by enemies, Lord, we are surrounded by you. We are surrounded by your Holy Spirit, oh God. That with every waking day we will choose, oh God, to lean upon you, oh God, and to stand upon your word and your promises. That we may be able, oh God, to fulfill your purposes on this earth, oh God. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord, because you are going to do this. Because you are going to do this. Thank you because you are Emmanuel, God with us. You will never leave us. You will yes. never forsake us. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for joining us. We hope that you're being encouraged. We hope that you are being built up, that the Holy Spirit is speaking to you right now, that that thing you have been postponing, that thing you've been saying, that you're going to start it, even without resources, even without whatever you think you need. When you have God, you have everything. He will provide whatever he starts, he brings to completion. Whatever God starts in your life, he will provide for it. So don't doubt, don't fear. Just move forward. Be like Joshua when he was told, wake up tomorrow and go. He woke up and, and he just left. He didn't want to know where whatever will come. He knew that God would provide. He's with you. He's Emmanuel. God with us. He will provide for you. So even right now, as we sing this song, we invite you for a time of giving. Uh, to give your tithes and your offerings. If you want to give uh, to, the, to those who are needy through Relief 2020 or through any other means, there will be there will be uh, details will be highlighted on your screens so that if you want to give or if you, the Lord is stirring up your heart to give in that way that you may you may be able to give. I hope this song encourages you.
kusema utaniacha Immanueli uko hapa uliahidi uliahidi uwepo wako uwepo wako waenda nasi waenda nasi Immanueli Immanueli upendo wako upendo wako waniongoza kila ni
I want to tell you that He is Emmanuel. He is God with you. Yes. He is God with us. Yes. He won't leave you. He won't forsake you. Yes. He's the good shepherd. He will lead you beside quiet waters. Yes. He will lay your green. Uh, 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 he will lay you on green pastures. And though your enemies stand against you, he's going to bring a feast before them. Yes. That they will see that our God indeed is the true God. That we will be like Daniel, Shadrach, and Meshach, and Abednego. That even if they throw us into the fire, we will not bow. Because we know our God is faithful. He is. And, even, and even if he does not pull us out of the fire, we will still not bow to the gods of this earth. Because our God, he is the true God.